support us. So we'll continue keeping you up to date with the latest on that. Plus, the latest on our forecast coming up that Labor Day weekend outlook. Temperatures are climbing. I'll tell you about that. Plus, if there's any rain in store, it's all coming up. Caitlin. Thank you, Jesse. And getting back to Dorian now being that major category three hurricane it is growing, fueled by the warm waters in the Atlantic. Right now, the National Hurricane Center is predicting it will make landfall Tuesday morning along the Florida coast, and that's where Jay Gray is tonight. A flurry is building across the Florida peninsula. Not the winds and rain from Dorian, the storm's still well off the coast. No gas? Okay, there. The rush right now is millions of residents across the state stockpiling food, water, supplies, and preparing while they can for what's expected to be a violent storm. This is going to be uh, a major hurricane, uh, Category 4, potentially even Category 4 plus. The system is slowing down, growing and gaining strength, fueled by the warm Atlantic waters. Landfall now looks to be early Tuesday morning, but where still isn't clear. We're below sea level, so I think everybody's um, fearing for the worst. That fear has Mike Lekorczyk securing everything he can on a boat that's also his home. If it goes down, all my, all my stuff is pretty much gone. I don't have a storage unit. Everything I own is right there. Concern so many are dealing with in the water and on shore across the strike zone right now. Now, the first real effects of the storm are likely to be felt sometime Sunday and then things likely to go downhill pretty quickly as Dorian makes its way toward the shoreline. Jay Gray, NBC News, Cocoa Beach.